Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Now I'd like to talk very quickly about a great online service, or, or how should I call it, a web app, which is Kiber.com. And it is great if you want to learn touch typing, or if you want to get better at touch typing, you can use this website because it's great. I have been uh, practicing with this, I think, for two weeks now or three weeks, maybe a month. And it is great, you know. I, I am only missing one more key, J. And I have practiced every single key in the English, I mean every single letter in the English alphabet. And what is cool about it is that, you know, most of the time you really type meaningful words. Not always. For example, uh, un uncue is, I don't, quad, I don't know, I don't think that these are meaningful words, but for example, equal, uh, choir, these are meaningful words, and uh, there are a you know there are exercises where you where you repetitively have to type, for example, two or three letters, and you have to repeat the same word, the same co same combination over and over. And uh, I find this method much more fun, much better. At least for me, it works great. That you know, not every word is a meaningful English word, but uh, of course, if you, if you if you just start with a few letters in the beginning, you get very few uh, meaningful English words. But at the end, you have quite a, quite a lot. And what is great, for example, it it is it is really teaching you the typical combinations of the English language. For example, the Q. If you have a Q many many times, you have a U after the Q. And an E or A, you know, you see these combinations. And really, it just makes you practice these typical combinations over and over with real words or words that are very similar to real words. And that's why it's great. It's, it's really fun. It's not boring. I cannot get boring with it, bored with it. And... Uh, <coughs> Just a background about my touch typing experience. I have started. I started to learn touch typing. I think maybe half a year ago or maybe a year ago. But you know, I never practiced it, and I, I never put any time or energy into practicing it systematically. What I mean, what I did, I, for example, just opened a website or a text file or something, and uh, I tried to learn the keys and try to remember and try to type real English text right from the beginning. And it's it's a now looking back, I can say that it's a bad strategy because. Uh, because it is the hardest possible way to start learning touch typing. No, it is, it is not good. The, the thing you want is something like that. That you have simple words, you have really simple combinations, and you learn, you know, every time you learn a new key, and after some time, you have learned all the keys of the keyboard. This is what you want to do. Do not start with real text. If you cannot, if you don't do, if you don't know touch typing, or if you cannot do touch typing, start it with this website. I really can recommend it. It's great. Uh, because if you if you start with typing real text, it's very frustrating because uh, you are going to make a lot of mistakes and uh, your speed and accuracy 
will not improve. At least my speed and accuracy did not improve by uh, practicing with real text. But after practicing with this one, my speed and accuracy has have improved a lot. Really a lot. And uh, of course, in the real world, for example, at my workplace, when I type, I'm not that fast and accurate as I am here. Because in it's not very realistic in in the respect that in in real world typing you know it's not like that you do not see the keys as you type if you mistype something it won't be read because here if you mistype something it's, it's it will be read and and you cannot go further until you get it right and you know it, it is great for learning It is great for learning, and if you learned the keys here, and uh, you, you really, if you don't have to think about where the keys are anymore, you will be much better, much faster, and much more accurate in real world or in real life typing. And of course, if you do real life typing, real life touch typing enough, you will get just as good, just as accurate, just as quick as with uh, exercises exercises like this one. So let's do a quick demonstration. Actually you can cheat because if you click away from this uh, input field and you click back, you see, you start over. All your mistakes are uh, erased, so to say. Okay, let's do a quick demonstration. Oh, okay. Ah, come on. You know, if you record, if you record a video, it's not gonna go very well, I guess. Ah. Okay, and here comes the, the next shot. So, you know this is really great, uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, you get, you also get a lot of cool statistics. And you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't, you don't need your, you, you don't have to log into this service, log into this uh, website to use the, to practice like this. Because, you see, I am anonymous, so I'm not logged in, because I don't have an account here. But, 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 I do have a profile, with a lot of cool statistics. And this is so, so great, so it seems that... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, my average speed, top speed... All time statistics. I only spent spent three hours and eight minutes. Okay. It looks way too. <laughs> way too little. I feel I have been doing this this for twenty hours or 50 hours I don't know I don't think it's right I cannot imagine okay whatever yeah there are the cool statistics you can see how your speed improved how the uh, how your errors the number of errors improved the number of keys you learned and a lot of things. What is this? Typing speed for the current key. Yeah, there are a lot of cool statistics. 
you know you can see which keys you miss the most okay let's go back to practice okay let's do one more run ah if I make a mistake right in the beginning I just start over no 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 you know I I'm much better when I'm not recording a video uh, um. Come on. Ah. No, 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 no. It's too many mistakes. That cannot be. Okay. Ah, you know, I just recently. Uh, got to the letter Q, so that's why I am slower right now. And of course, because I'm recording a video. Ah, come on. Okay, you get the idea. Don't practice while recording a video, or don't record a video while practicing. <laughs> okay. But uh, actually, what I, what I wanted to say that in the beginning, at least along the whole way, don't try to be quick. Because if you try to be quick and you are not accurate enough, your accuracy is going to be so bad that you are going to get so frustrated that it's not, it, it's not going to be fun. So what you want to do, you want to take it slow. So if you see that you are kind of you want to be kind of too quick and you you make too many mistakes you know slow down just take it slowly really if 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 you if you make a lot of mistakes slow down and find a speed at which speed you make i i would say maximum two mistakes in one round so, for example, if I don't want to make any mistakes, I just so da slow down. You see? And it's much better. Oh, come on. Two mistakes, acceptable. But really, before the letter Q, I was very fast. But Q is, is now kind of new to me. So I have to keep practicing. But really, if you, if you don't... Well, what I want to say... Do not want to be quick. But you have to be accurate. So accuracy is more important. Than speed because once you are accurate you can improve your speed without ruining your accuracy and making the whole thing a suffering so if you don't want to suffer just take it slowly and as you get more accurate at a certain speed you can type quicker and you know if you do it really step by step your accuracy is going to improve, and once you you are more accurate, you you can you can get quicker. And once you are accurate enough at that given speed, you can increase the speed again. That's how you go ahead. Ah, and of, also you have uh, some configuration options. For example, for example, where is it? Yeah, you can practice the special, the punctuation characters, or upper 
keys, characters, and there is one more thing to it. What I wanted to show, you can download your whole profile, I think here, at the end, yeah, download data. And this is a great thing about this, because, you know, here you, you don't have to create an account, you don't have to register, you can just use it anonymously as much as it's possible on the internet today and you can download your data and for example if you if you delete all of your cookies or you reinstall your whole system I guess you can re-upload this data somehow I guess I do not see a way right now to do it but it would kind of be meaningless to download the data if you wouldn't be able to re-upload it mm, okay whatever it's interesting there should be a way to import or upload or something like that if, if, if there is an option to download your data yeah, interesting. It really got me thinking. What is the point in having a download button if there is no import or upload button anywhere? So, whatever. So, keyber.com is a great website for practicing touch typing. I highly recommend it. It, is, it has been very useful for me. My accuracy and speed have improved a lot. And it's fun. It's not boring. Sometimes, the, because, because uh, some of these words are not proper English words it depends on your native language sometimes these words can be funny for example I am a Hungarian and sometimes I get words which are meaningful in Hungarian and they have a very very funny meaning in Hungarian so okay that's it for now goodbye